Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Infamous Universe Q&A series. In this series, I take your questions about Infamous and I answer them, whether it's big, small, simple, or complicated. Today's first question comes from Drake Jones and he asks, Would you like to see the introduction of a badass human hero in the Infamous Universe, living among all these conduits with powers, like Batman, Green Arrow, or Iron Man? Well, to be entirely honest with you, we already have that character. Zeke. This guy is about as badass as it gets. But to answer your question seriously, yes, I would love to see the introduction of a vigilante style hero, human hero, come into the Infamous series. I think that would be really awesome to team up with someone who is just as badass as a conduit who doesn't even have powers. The Unfamous, again, asks, do you think that a DLC for Eugene should come out? No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Oh god. Okay, here's my thing with Eugene. I do not like his character. At all. Not only is he a stereotype in and of himself of the people who are playing the game, which is just ridiculous, but his original character was supposed to be someone completely different. The original character for Eugene was supposed to be a pregnant congresswoman who was disowned by her family because she was a conduit and probably going to have a conduit baby. That character is now Eugene's mother. They replaced her with Eugene because Eugene's voice actor, I forgot his name, he came in to audition for Delson and Sucker Punch just loved him so much that they rewrote an entire fucking character just so they could have this voice actor in their game. That is bad decision making, 1-0-fucking-1, one. so I detest Eugene's character to the very fiery core of my soul. However, I would not be opposed to having a DLC about Hank or Augustine. Imagine a DLC with Hank. You could actually have some stealth for once. You could do bank robberies or sneak out of prison. I imagine this gameplay mechanic where you can smoke dash up into the air ventilation system and then go around the building through the air vents and then maybe you can dash down, knock out a guard, dash back up and then keep sneaking around and it would just be really awesome. Or even a DLC about Augustine, honestly I think that should be a full game of its own, just Augustine's entire backstory from her rise to power, the seven years the DUP was active, all that stuff would be really really juicy content for the infamous backstory and lore. Our final question today comes from Brett Williams and he says, hey I've got an idea for ya. In Second Son, where Hank is frozen in concrete and Delson thought he was dead, Reggie was also supposedly killed while being frozen in the concrete. What if Reggie is actually still alive in this concrete stasis and he's just in the water? And what if the villain or the military or whoever's in the next game finds him, thaws him out, and then makes him go all Winter Soldier, brainwashing him into thinking that conduits are bad and losing his memories of Delson? Okay, so I, I have a couple things to say here. I don't think Reggie is a super soldier. He's just a cop from a Native American little small town out in the middle of nowhere. I highly doubt, even if he was still alive, that anybody could make him into an anti-conduit super soldier. Now with that being said, I do want to get kind of scientific with the concrete shell, that's what I call it. In the first cutscene where Augustine encases Hank in the concrete, there are two possibilities. First possibility is you cannot breathe while you're inside the concrete shell because it's airtight. If that's true, Hank has incredible lungs. I don't know how he does it, but that is a long time to hold your breath. I mean, seriously, play that game, go through the cutscene and hold your breath through that entire cutscene. See if you can do it. But anyway, the second possibility is that there are little tiny pores and holes in the concrete that allow air to come through so you can breathe while you're inside the shell. Now, if that's true, water could also seep into the shell and drown whoever's inside. So case closed on that. If it's airtight, then the person inside would suffocate if they were underwater and couldn't escape the concrete shell. So either way, I think Reggie is dead, which is a shame because Sucker Punch had a good character there. They had a good sidekick and they killed him off literally just to make the player feel something temporarily, just to make the player mad at Augustine. And it was really cheap. It was a really dumb, unnecessary death and I don't like it. Well, that just about does it for this episode of the Infamous Universe Q&A. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed, share this video with all your friends, subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you all next time.